Well, good morning, everyone. It's great to see all of you. Um, uh, but, and by the way, just if you need to know how to use these mics, I've come to learn if you just hit the button that's right, that basically hit the face where it looks like someone's spewing cold virus out of their mouth. <laughs> and if you do that, then you, then you can that's spew neat. cold virus all over uh, the microphone and be heard. So that's, and then that's how you get this to go on and off. Um, so it's, it's great to see all of you, and I'm glad that uh, we were able to start uh, early. Some t and NIH security uh, cooperated. To, we got people here. Of course, the people that aren't here are the ones that are probably tied up in getting through security. But um, we do have a lot to accomplish today. Um, but I was asked to sort of say a few words just to provide some context um, about this meeting. Uh, which is actually ironic because there was another Ignite meeting where I was asked recently, what, like a week ago or two weeks, two weeks ago, to give similar context um, to it. But that's okay. So for those who are at that meeting, um, you're going to hear about that meeting later today. Um, you're going to hear much of the same thing, but this all relates to um, the Ignite network which is one of several NHGRI programs that aims to speed the application of genomics in clinical care, uh, particularly the use of uh, genomic information such as genomic variation. But what IGNITE focuses on is the dissemination of genomic approaches from highly specialized tertiary centers to more diverse clinical settings, including primary care and resource-limited sites. We recognized a number of years ago that genomics and genomic medicine was not going to be viewed as successful if its implementation was restricted to only the most highly specialized and well-resourced uh, uh, healthcare delivery sites in the country and in the world. Well, to try to accomplish this, what we aimed to do in building the Ignite Networks was to basically build multidisciplinary teams who could perform research that would touch on multiple different areas that we knew were going to be important to investigate as part of such a dissemination effort, um, such as institution, defining institutional needs, building clinical decision support tools, physician education and engagement, dealing with reimbursement and billing. Reimbursement was a topic of a workshop a couple weeks ago dealing with patient education and thinking a lot about the provision of clinical results, especially those that are genomic oriented. And there's a very detailed and thick and actually well put together background document in the folder that all of you are provided. And as you can see from that document, much work has been done, but of course there's still far more to accomplish in order to truly bring genomics into the mainstream of clinical care. So uh, thus this workshop. So as NHGRI often does when a large program um, such as um, IGNITE is nearing the end of its funding cycle, uh, we take a step back um, and we attempt to assess where we are and where we want to go in a particular area, in this case the area being focused on by IGNITE. Uh, we do this not just for NHGRI, uh, we do this for NHGRI, uh, most proximately because we have decisions to make, but also for other parts of NIH and also for the, for the larger genomics community as well. And so that is why we are here, is to help us take a step back, um, look and basically do a landscape analysis in this particular area and figure out what we should be doing going forward. Uh, this, of course, therefore, um, brings some specific recommendations for us in thinking about what to do next since the current funding cycle of IGNITE is uh, nearing its end. So the Institute felt that convening such what we regard as a program review workshop was needed. We sort of set out with several objectives for this. I'll state these for you. One is to understand and evaluate key contributions of the IGNITE network to date. Second of all, to identify and prioritize the current set of scientific opportunities and goals that could fill gaps in the current genomic medicine implementation efforts. And third, identify optimal topics and study designs for future genomic medicine implementation program or programs. So that's what we seek to do in what will be a very busy day. Um, I want to, um, and so thank you all for coming. You're going to contribute, I know, in important ways. These program review meetings always end up being usually even more helpful than we anticipate. Um, and it's just the style with which we like to, to plan. We like to engage people, both those most immediately involved in the, in the program, but also others with expertise to gain sort of community input, synthesize what we hear, and then make decisions going forward. A key part of that decision-making process is the use of our um, advisors and particularly uh, members of, of our National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. 
And looking around the table, I am just incredibly impressed and pleased that so many members of both our current council, but also former council members are here, uh, and particularly the current, and I think I counted four or five, if I got the number right, of current council members. Um, this is incredibly important to us because any real decisions about going forward would be brought um, to our council to gain their input, and so having them here participating in the discussion, hearing the, 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 the narrative as it, it evolves throughout the day, I think is incredibly valuable uh, because they will play a, a, an important role in our final decisions about what we're gonna do uh, going forward. So I thank them for coming and I particularly thank them because we make them come to Bethesda a lot and they're gonna be here in what, about another three weeks or something for our, our next council meeting? Two. two. Is it? But who's counting? Oh, it is two. Oh yeah, that's right, it is two. Yeah, okay, because I have a lot of work to do before it as well, so. I, yeah, thanks. Um, but also I wanna thank members of the Ignite Network External Scientific Panel who also are very important for helping us think through uh, what's going on with this network obviously the Ignite investigators themselves, and then other experts, as I mentioned, in genomic medicine, who we invited to help guide us and guide the network and guide our advisors and so forth. So uh, we look forward to a very stimulating day, and um, um, I'm going to be very, very um, interested to hear what the conclusions are uh, for this, from this workshop and think about going forward what we're going to be doing in implementation. So thank you. <laughs>